good morning everybody uh, just a quick vlog uh, now if I stop the video now how wonderful does that all look in reality I haven't gotten it much over the winter but these areas like this the red thread and some lichen algae in there in there um, just come in on some of that red thread this is a turf disease usually just down to the lack of um, nutrition nitrogen mainly so you just see that red red thread there they call it red thread so just some nitrogen feeds will sort that out and it will it'll help it fill in at some point we're also um we'll probably dimple the square which is a posh posh thing um for the professional groundsmen have them which is basically dimpling the the whole surface while there's still some moisture in it make lots of holes and in in them areas there i'll probably just put some seed into them ones a lot of them though will just kind of the grass will pull in around them red thread doesn't overly kill the grass um tends to just weaken it a bit and weaken around it so a, a lot of these areas will feed and I've, sh I've shown you the real worst we've only got a couple like that if you see the rest of the, the square is pretty okay good even coverage there um just to show you some other stuff just good you know this may look great and it is it, it's, it's it's great but um, it's always good to see some of the weaknesses that we've all got in all our squares. So uh, down into here, I don't know if you can see that that flower in there on that leaf. And that's Power um, Annual Meadow Grass. And this wicket here suffered quite a lot of this last year um, because it's slightly overused. Um, had a hot spell, didn't really come back. Was I wasn't here. But it was the same probably would have happened. Um, so this, this this one's got a lot of power in it, weed grass, invasive. Um, so it's just just got in where it could. The rest of the square hasn't really got much at all. Um, but a lot of squares have have quite a bit of it in there. Um, so we ours is mostly confined to one pitch. It's a regular verti, vertical cutting, so verti cutting. If you've got that kind of thing, uh, lawn and rake, just stand the grass up a bit, avoiding hitting the soil too much. Um, just to get the grass standing up vertically, removing all the um, horizontal kind of growth, stalky bits, seed heads, get them seed heads standing up, and then the mower will come along and pick them up. I've cut a rotary today. Um, get, you get a nice, nice clean up with rotary. Um, just show you in here a bit. All the leaves off the surface. So that, it, it's pretty good. That hoovers it all up. It's also, it's not only green grass, and there's a lot of green. There's also some whiter, yellowy, sort of dead, dead grass, or litter they call it. So that's the stuff that verti cutting and brushing and mowing will get up during pre-season. So I'll just put this peg in here for a sec. Um, this square has, has only had that rotary there. Um, it's a constructed square. It's had years of professional groundsmen here, but I just just this just gives you an indication of how how firm this square is already. I can't actually get that peg in so it's probably quite unique to some of you guys but it kind of shows you how firm this is already so probably this could probably take a Dennis Premier with no no issues at all um, so once that's that's ready to go I'll, I'll, I'll be on that this is a 36 inch mower um, but it's certainly ready for that quite surprised but I guess because it is a professional cricket cricket square um, constructed maintained by professional groundsman last year um, there's there's just that lot, there's a lot of firmness left in here even though you come here a week ago it was an absolute pudding um, you wouldn't believe it but and so I'm pushing down there there's a bit of moisture coming up there so it's probably it probably be too wet today a couple of hours two three hours if, if you if I had a, if I had the premier here um, it's way surfing but that would probably all right I'd want to get rid of that moisture off my off my, my thumb first but this square is pretty firm you can kind of tell as well you can tell when a square's too soft you can, you can feel it in your feet as you walk across it so go with your instincts um my ends are pretty good I'm just going to try and give some like there's a little bit there a little bit thin in there so over dimple will do that in there you can
can put a bit of loam, but I wouldn't worry too much. But you can, as long as you brush it right in, you don't want too much sitting on the surface. But that's it, guys. Uh, I'll make another update in a few weeks' time. So happy pre-season works.